Hello and welcome to another episode of Battle Ready. Ready. <laughs> right. Well, it's the near the start of a new year. Yep. And so we thought we'd talk about our goals. Now, some people call it New Year, New Army. New Army. Sometimes new it's just hobby goals. You know, there's a lot of goals in life. Yeah. Financial, family goal, right? But that's not what this channel is dedicated to. This no. channel is all about the hobby. Boom. So hobby goals. Uh, I think we each have some goals for this coming year, 20, or this year that's here now, mm -hmm. right, 2024. Oh, that feels wrong. <laughs> what What do you want to do for, what is your goals for 2024? Finish the Iron Jaws. Finish the Iron Jaws. So for Christmas, what'd you get? I got Mr. Zogrock and two big bosses. And two big bosses. Art Boy big yeah. bosses. So Drake is in the, uh, is in painting mode right now. Yep. A lot of good progress. Not done yet. Not but a lot, yet, but a lot of good progress. The one that's at least done is Thunk. Yeah. Right <laughs> Thunk needs a little bit of work, but he's good. He's yeah. Good. So uh, what do you think of these guys? Uh, I think Zogrock. It's a little unfortunate that he's locked to Iron Jaws, so I had to paint him yellow. Locked to Evil Suns, you mean? No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, the yellow ones. The he's yellow locked ones. to the yellow ones. I think it is Evil Suns. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking it's mis misremembering. Think but yeah, funny. he's locked to the yellow ones. So I had to paint him yellow. You okay. could have painted him, right? There's no, yeah. there's no painting police. You can paint him whatever you want. Yeah, but it wouldn't have looked right. I just decided to paint him. Cool. But well, I, I think do it looks have good. a callback with the red chunk of metal here. Yeah. So he's standing on some metal that's uh, been discarded from the other blood right. tooths. Blood tooths. Blood yes. tooths. So times. that's pretty cool. And I, th I really think I like that you decided to paint your guys in a sub-faction scheme. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I always use the basic color, and then I just say, oh, yeah, this is Barack Zilfin. Oh, yeah, these are yeah. Hollowed Knights. But, uh, yeah, I almost always use the, the basic color. Um, cool. So that is your uh, what you got in Christmas, so the close of 2023. Yeah. What are you hoping for in 2024? What would finish off your Iron Jaws army? Seven more mock crashes. Because <laughs> last year you talked about Iron Jaws, and what did you get last year? Right, So you got these, but you also got... Um, Did I get Gordrak last yeah, year? Yeah, you got Gordrak. Oh, yeah. You bought them with your own monies? Yeah. Um, I can't remember if you got other things. I did not get anything else. I might have finished models that year. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. You finished models, for sure. Okay. okay so what are, you, what are your plans? You got all year to look forward. What are your plans for the Iron Jaws? So I haven't quite calculated my fit, done my army with these models. Okay. But if there's something I really needed, it would be the new Art Boys. Okay, new Art Boys. Because I only have ten, and they're derp Art Boys. <laughs> derp Art Boys. Yep. The, the old Art Boys are I think they were called Black Orcs from Warhammer yeah. Fantasy, and uh, they show their age. I don't think there is. I don't think they're terrible. They're not the worst models yeah. in the range for are in the uh, game for mm -hmm. sure, but. Uh, they show their age. Yeah. They Even though most age. of my guys are like this. They've yeah. all got their weapons raised. Um, okay, what else? Uh I think I think in one of my lists for them, I have a second uh wa uh war changer. Second. So would you want one unit of art boys or would you want two units of art boys? I want two units because they've got the two big bosses. But you already have ten, right? I so what I mean 10. is do you want twenty more or do you want ten more? I think I just I think I might start with ten more and then we'll then and see. then I might Okay. Anything big? You want more mock crushes? Do you want big pigs? I do want big pigs, but I want to see if the rules change because the momentum. <laughs> the momentum is is not great, yeah. but you know what? We are moving into a 4.0, so maybe they'll change. And there's some. There's no rumors, but people are speculating. What if the after three editions they go to an index? You know what indexes? Because they just did it for 40k. Where everything changes. Well, what they do is they they change like what War Scrolls even are, right? They just change mm. like stats. So you used to have, like, what if they, they said, all right, we're going to go strength and toughness. No. Nope. Right? I, don't, I agree with you. I don't think that's the way to go. But let's just say they did it, right? Yep. You couldn't use any War Scrolls, right? Yeah. So what they do is they come out with indexes, which is basically a book or two yeah. books or four books. Maybe they'll do one for each Grand Alliance. They come out with books that say, here's all the War Scrolls. And then... But the cool thing is, if you buy those books, you've got every unit in the game. Yeah. The not cool thing is, you all your old books are, are gone. Yeah. Right? No, nothing works anymore. So, what, what do you think? Do you think they would index for 4.0? <sighs> no. 
I don't think so. I think they would just update War Scrolls. I don't think so either. I think that the system... So they, with, one of the reasons they did it to 40K was that... Everything was broken. By all accounts, 9th edition was pretty bloated yeah. and cumbersome. Now, we never played 9th edition, so I can't, we can't speak from personal experience. Yep. But that was word on the street, or at least word on the internet, was that it was pretty bloated. The, the inter-street. Um, and so they were just like, all right, we got to cut it, start fresh, index, and go. And 10th edition we've played, at least Combat Patrol we've played. <laughs> and it's been fun. Yeah. That's been fun. I don't think that AOS is in that same position where, no, where you need not. a complete gut and redo. Um, are there things they could tweak and change? Yes. Yes. But they don't need an index. There are for improvements that. that could be made in 4.0? Sure. But I don't think it needs an index. I don't think it needs to get chunky. Yeah. I, uh, could they do it anyway? Yes. Yeah, they could do it anyway. But if I had to put money on it, I would bet on no. Same. Especially because everybody got a battle tome in 3.0. Yeah, they would. So I sort of feel like everybody's you know, up. up to speed. It's not like in 2.0 where there were a couple armies that never got a battle tome. And they were just like, Ooh. Right? So I feel like we're, we're ready to start stepping forward. 3.0 was a great time of getting everybody up to speed. <laughs> and then now we can go into 4.0. Yeah. But, you know, I, yeah, there's no guarantees in life. But I don't think so. All right. So you could get a big pig. You could get, yeah. uh, you want another war chanta maybe? Because you have one. I have. And the goth rocker. I have the goth rocker. So who I is, could... can be a war chanta. Technically, he is technically chanta. There you go. Uh, oh, you also have a wizard. What are the wizard called? Uh, Those weird knobs? Weird knob shamans. Yeah, weird knobs. So you've got enough stuff, I think. And you've got some pigs. Would you want more pigs? More baby pigs? Yeah, I want more pigs. More baby pigs. Because I'm blood tubes and I only have three pigs. Yeah, you should probably have more pigs. Yeah, I need blood more pigs. <laughs> I think, plus, I think pigs are just going to be better in sixes than they are in threes. Yeah, I, I just need more pigs. Especially with the new coherency rules. Yes. So I can just have a Which could totally pigs. change when 4.0 comes out. <laughs> you never know. That's another thing I, I really wonder about 4.0 is, are they going to... What's going to change? Well, in, in 40K, the what's the range on weapons? Uh, it varies, right? No, it's all the same. Really? In, well, guns vary for sure. Oh, but, but melee. Stabby weapons. Yeah. Yeah, they're all the it's same. It's half an inch or half an inch of half an inch. Half an inch of half an inch. So you can always fight in two ranks. Right? I don't think that's going to happen. I think, I think there's a strong possibility that it does. And the reason is because when they did Galatian Veterans and you could fight in two ranks, it was super popular. Everybody loved that rule. It was so good. So I think they could do something like that. Now, what that means for weapon ranges, because you can, there's some weapons go out to three inches, right? Yeah, Trug. Trug so, would, hat, would not be happy. So it's like, uh, you know, I don't know exactly, maybe. Maybe but, they would make that a weapon with like spears. Spears can fight in two ranks, but sort of. That's cannot. sort of what they have now, because mm -hmm. spears have the two inch range. Yeah. Um, but or maybe it's like it'll a, be interesting, because I, I bet, I bet there'll be something with that. I hope there's, I hope it's like a battalion where you have to take it. Now, maybe. And that could yeah. be. I, I I'm not saying that it's going to be a core rule. Maybe it will, okay. but they need. There's going to be some kind of way. Yeah. To get that. Yeah. Maybe it's a battalion. That would be a good battalion because that's. That would be a, a battalion that competes well with the one drop. I think. Yes. All right. Um. So that sounds good. So Iron Jaws plans, finish painting, more pigs. A lot more pigs. More Ard boys. More Ard boys. Perhaps a big pig. Perhaps a big pig. Perhaps a war chant. Perhaps a war chant. Those two are maybes. All right. So, uh, and uh, finish painting these guys. Yeah. And now, Dem. And you have a birthday coming up. Yeah. So, you know, maybe. Maybe some of that. Now, those lads. Those lads. So, for me, um, you know, I'm not. So, for the past three years, I have sort of inadvertently done New Year, New Army. Because I don't like the idea of it, of, you know, the calendar changes and then suddenly, oh, it's time to work on a new project. I don't know. I'm not a big New Year's resolution guy. Yeah. So I'll, the fact that the calendar changes doesn't really have any impact on me. But a couple of years ago, Soul Blight came out. Maybe that was three years ago. Soul Blight came out and I just happened to get a bunch of Soul yeah, Blight stuff. Years. It was three years ago because that was the smack dab at the end of two. Yeah. And so I was like, Literally all right, like I'm going to, you know. I started this project. I'm just going to keep working on it. And yeah. so it was the vampire year. We did the Virkos army that year. Yeah. Virkos vampire art year. I think it was last year 
I just happened to get for Christmas the Beast Claw Raiders starting box. Yes. And, then and so then I was like, well, Ogre time. Let's, let's finish this off. Let's make an army. So that's where we are again. So it's not that the and new year is making me do it, but I did get the Eternus Warhorde Christmas box. And I picked up a Vanguard box. And for some reason, he's not building Eternus. No, I'm going to bring, build the Chaos Demon Mount guy. Yeah, Chaos Lord on Demon Mount. The generic. But I have started. So, so far, I have, here's a few of them. But I have uh, 20 Chaos Warriors, all with halberds. <laughs> I am currently painting 10 Chaos Knights, which are awful. Awful. The models are fine. The models are, are cool. Building them, because they were push-fit models, so because I have two units, two units of five, there's 10 of them, they're pretty samey, which is yeah. a little bit sad. But well, overall, okay. But the painting on them is awful. You've got the horses, so you've got flesh. But then you've got black armor. Painting black armor is just a, a pain. Then you've got gold trim and silver chain mail and red <laughs> wrappings. And oh my gosh, they're so... And then they've got little trinkets, little gold bits and little hands and heads and stuff. Just like, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff on these guys. What you should do is you should spray them black uh -huh. or prime them black and then paint only the stuff that's not black and then uh, varnish it. So, so you don't have to paint black. That would be nice, except if you do that, the, everything is the same color black and the black spray paint we have is very flat. So it just looks like black globs that hides the detail. So Did plus, it. some of the, like they were also wearing like, cloaks and furs and wraps and stuff mm -hmm. and that stuff is so good for contrast paint uh -huh. that i want it to be white so that i can use contrast on it except then you have to, deal, you with have the to deal with everything else <laughs> but you know what small price to pay we'll get it but yeah. so far like i said i've got 20 of these bad boys done the chaos warriors were a little intimidating at first but are not bad especially compared to the chaos knights which i hate i'm never buying another chaos knight that's <laughs> i've got 10 i'm done i'm never doing another one of these this is a nightmare <laughs> It takes forever. And they're big models, too. They're little chunky boys. So when it's time to paint a color, there's a lot of that color on 10 different models. No. That are also samey. That are also samey. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, but that's going to be the project this year. I'm going to try to get up both those boxes painted. And I have 10 more warriors. Ooh, and no. one unit of Varengard. Right. And if I have all that together. And chosen. Well, yeah, that's part of it. That's one of the boxes. Yeah. But with all that together, I will have like 1980 points. <laughs> so once I get all that stuff built and painted, and it turns out it takes forever to paint these stupid Slaves to Darkness. So uh, I'm hoping to finish by the end of the year. <laughs> but that'll be, that's my goal for this year. Now, I have a couple of other things as well. You know, I got a couple of Christmas presents of like, some Gloom Spite fanatics and other stuff. So I do. Yeah, so many models. There will be other things along the way. So many but models. But the project, the big project for this year, Slaves. And mini projects. I'm, I'm excited because Slaves are, are fairly elite. Yeah. And I just, you know, personally, I just like the elite gameplay a little bit more. Fewer models, which does have its downsides. Yeah. But you, you just feel like you're Smash wrecking. It, yeah. I'm wrecking stuff because I'm so buff and bad. Unless the other one, the other team also has. Well, then it's cool because it feels like Clash of the Titans. It's like yeah. my Stormcast against your slaves. Bah! <laughs> but when it's, you know, I have a super arm. I have my maggot kin, and I just am like crushing skeletons or crushing hordes of goblins. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. Is he taller than he? Well, he's standing on a, on a rock. But the Slaves to Darkness are big. They're like Stormcast. They're like evil Stormcast. Except the Stormcast are actually a tiny bit bigger. Are I they measured... a tiny bit bigger? Yeah. These guys are a little bit smaller. Mm, okay. Good to know. I measured the... Uh... So this anyway, thing. that is our goals for 2024. Finish off some Iron Jaws armies. Finish off some Slaves to Darkness armies. Yeah, I have to Let us know in the comments your goals for 2024. They could be grand. New, new year, new army. You're going to start a whole new army and get it painted up to parade ready standard. <laughs> Good, good luck to you. Um, or they could be very small. And you could say, you know what? This year, I have last year I didn't get a lot of painting in. So this year, I want to make sure I can paint one evening a month. Right? And if that's uh, improvement for you, awesome. We want to hear about it. So let us know in the comments below 
Any final thoughts about 2024? I think it'll be fun. It will be. That is a guarantee. Warhammer is always fun. And we have 4.0 to look forward to. All right, this has been another episode of Battle Ready. Yay! Thanks so much for watching.